The CN cycle is one of the two sets of fusion reactions by which stars convert hydrogen to helium, the other being the proton-proton chain reaction. Unlike the latter, the CNO cycle is a catalytic cycle. Theoretical models suggest that the CNO cycle is the dominant source of energy in stars more massive than about 1.3 times the mass of the Sun. The proton-proton chain is more important in stars the mass of the Sun or less. This difference stems from temperature dependency differences between the two reactions. PP chain reaction starts at temperatures around 7006400000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
authors are erroneously including the positron annihilation energy in with the beta decay Q value and then neglecting the equal amount of energy released by annihilation, leading to possible confusion. All values are calculated with reference to the atomic mass evaluation 2003. The limiting reaction in the CNOI cycle is the proton capture on 147N. In 2006 it was experimentally measured down to stellar energies, revising the calculated age of globular clusters by around 1 billion years. The neutrinos emitted in beta decay will have a spectrum of energy ranges, because although momentum is conserved, the momentum can be shared in any way between the positron and neutrino, with either emitted at rest and the other taking away the full energy, or anything in between, so long as all the energy from the Q-value is used. All momentum which get the electron and the neutrino together is not great enough to cause a significant recoil of the much heavier daughter nucleus, and hence, its contribution to kinetic energy of the products, for the precision of values given here, can be neglected. Thus the neutrino emitted during the decay of nitrogen-13 can have an energy from 0 up to 1.20 MeV, and the neutrino emitted during the decay of oxygen-15 can have an energy from 0 up to 1.73 MeV. On average, about 1.7 MeV of the total energy output is taken away by neutrinos for each loop of the cycle, leaving about 25 MeV available for producing luminosity. CNO2 in a minor branch of the above reaction, that occurs in the Sun's core 0.04% of the time. The final reaction involving 157N shown above does not produce carbon-12 in an alpha particle, but instead produces oxygen-16 in a photon and continues 157N16A217987804T7N158057N. Like the carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen involved in the main branch, the fluorine produced in the minor branch is merely an intermediate product and at steady state, does not accumulate in the star. CNO3 This subdominant branch is significant only for massive stars. The reactions are started when one of the reactions in CNO2 results in fluorine 18 and gamma instead of nitrogen 14 and alpha, and continues 178018 9F 180 15 7N 9F 17 like the CNO3. This branch is also only significant in massive stars. The reactions are started when one of the reactions in CNO3 results in fluorine 19 and gamma instead of nitrogen 15 and alpha, and continues 199F16 A217 9F17 F18 F hot CNO cycles. Under conditions of higher temperature and pressure, such as those found in novi and X-ray bursts, the rate of proton captures exceeds the rate of beta decay, pushing the burning to the proton drip line. The essential idea is that a radioactive species will capture a proton before it can beta decay, opening new nuclear burning pathways that are otherwise inaccessible. Because of the higher temperatures involved, these catalytic cycles are typically referred to as the hot CNO cycles, because the time scales are limited by beta decays instead of proton captures. They are also called the beta-limited CNO cycles, HCNOI. The difference between the CNOI cycle and the HCNOI cycle is that 137N captures a proton instead of decaying, leading to the total sequence 126C137N148047N158057N12 C HCNO2 The notable difference between the CNO2 cycle and the HCNO2 cycle is that 179F captures a proton instead of decaying, 
and neon is produced in a subsequent reaction on 18-9-F, leading to the total sequence 15-7-N-16-8-0-17-9-F-18-10-E-18-9-F-15-8-0-15-7-N-18-9-F-15-8-0-15-7-N-18-9-F-15-8-0-15-7-N-18-9-F-15-8-0-15-7-N-18-9-